We're playing Football Manager 2023, and uh, this is Jack City with Montijo Madness. We're going into game week 26, and uh, we're right down to the wire now. So I'll cut right to the game, then the highlights around the league, and then the review. And we're headed into our game. We are away at Guadalajara, and uh, this is what our starting lineup is going to look like. Uh, we're going to have Bernabe, Madrigal, Cardozo, Anibo, and Martinez in the back. Bataneto, Yedai, Pozo in the midfield. Aqua on the left. Ibra Keita on the right. And Katsala up top. Sergio Ten Tienza is your backup keeper. Javi Chino, Machado, Rodao, Kundul, Cristo, and Canizo uh, on the bench. We still, uh, you know, Baragan is still down there. Uh, I think Cristo is kind of taking his lunch and I, I, just going to have him start in f ahead of Baragan so he doesn't make the team. Uh, and Ryo, same thing for Canizo. Uh, you know, both teams are up for grabs, but neither are scoring. So, you know, as, if Catalas keeps going, then, you know, what else am I going to do? So let's submit this team. We got Guadalajara away. I, we need a win. We got to keep this pressure on them. Hands on the hips. Uh... Yeah, let's just enjoy the match. Play our game. We can win it. Guadalajara is a good team. Uh, non Cletus, I want pressing, tight marking. Uh, I don't know who else. Or, oh, Moses is Moreno. Okay, or let's go pressing always. Let's also uh, tight mark him. Maybe even tackle hard on this guy. Let's see how it goes, guys. Guadalajara at home. They're playing a uh, different formation from the last time I played them. So it does make me a little scared because I am unfamiliar with how to play against them. And we're, you know, away. Most teams are usually better at home, so. You know, let me try to fix this mic here. Uh, yeah. Guadalajara. Please, let's beat him. Take a little sip of water there. Let's also encourage. We got nothing going on right now. Cardoza. All the way back to Bernabe. He's sweeping and keeping. Aqua, who's a uh, more recent cemented team uh, on that left side. Ibriketa, Anibo. Ooh, I didn't like how uh, slow that pass was. That was a little scary for me. Ibriketa. Nice. Katala. Nope, 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 nope. Crossed a little high. A little high, but it was a good chance. Samuel gets it off with the, uh, the goal kick. Tejek hits it down. It's Uche. Uche. It's he doesn't catch a cleanie. It's over. Okay. Come on. Batanero hits it. Ooh. Yarai. Oh. Moreno was able to scramble that away. Come on. Bang. Bang. Yeah. Katala down and in. How many times have we done this throw-in routine? And it works every time. Katala again on the score sheet. Madrigal with the uh, the assist there. Incredible. They can't stop it. Throw in. Aqua just lays it off. Yep. Madrigal, great cross in, and Katala heads it down into the corner. That's just what I'm talking about, man. Those are those are little routines. That's what you got to build up. You got to cultivate them. Ooh, Madrigal, bad touch, but he's able to recover. Two men on him. Yeah, he's gonna peel it away because he's a little under threat. Aqua. He's got speed, man. Aqua. 
Madrigal gets it in. Cuts a law. Ooh, just not enough on that. Could have made it two. Could have made it two. A Blanc. There you go. Win it. Any bow just flicks it on to Martinez. Pozo. Ooh, beautiful little ball over, but uh, Catala is unable to get to it. Juan Rodriguez. Back to the keeper, and it's just cleared away. Uh, Cardozo heads it, but it's really kind of nobody. Aqua is able to scoop it up. Thank you. Yet I. Cardozo. Botanero. Okay. Aqua is still playing this uh, like a deeper role right now. He's constant flipping. Uh, oh. Yeah, these crosses are uh, getting dangerous, man. Madrigal and uh, Aqua are really creating problems. And Katala, man, he's so good in the air. All right, we definitely won the first half. Uh, we're up 1 0. I want to say, I don't want to see complacency. Um, look, stress. Hey. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Good, good, good. That was exactly what I was hoping for. Um,. I think everybody else is fine. I think we're just going to keep it. You know, I isolated uh, Katala, let him know that he's doing really well, honestly. He's creating a lot of he's creating a lot of shots, uh, and he's also scored already. So, I'm like, dude, it's not you. You know, when I say, like, complacency, I'm like, don't worry about it. If you're getting all stressed out about this, don't worry about it, man. You're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. But we're only 1-0 up. They've had one shot. It was a decent shot, 0.07. But, um, you know, we need, to, we need to put teams away, you know, because I don't want to get to the 80, 80th minute, 75th minute, and still be worrying about a goal, like one goal ruining us. Cardozo. Oh, ball way over the top. Iriketa. Hits it in Katala. Oh, off the crossbar. Madrigal, I don't know what that was, but I appreciated it. We're doing okay. Just checking down here. Not seeing much. Batonero is going to try and get the cross in, and yeah, Iberkeza is not a guy for the aerial presence. He's never going to win that. Pozo. Ooh, he hits it. Ooh, he was just over the top. He was going for that uh, that near corner there. Yeah, I think um, let's hold off for just a little bit. I'm actually kind of pleased with how things are going so far. Iberkeza. Ooh, just over. Um, kind of pleased with how things are going so far, but I just, I know that there needs to be a change sooner rather than later. Um, maybe we're going to play Rodau here. And Aqua, should we just put in Christo? He's a righty. So we're actually going to put an inside forward here. Hopefully that'll uh, put them under threat. Christo is, he has played well in the past. Uh, he's still not fully fit yet, but you know, these older gentlemen in the squad, they've been playing so well. Botanetto, Pozo, Yeti. Ooh. Javi Chino up for most of the season. He's only been, uh, you know, a little, he's a little run ragged now. You know, he's, Anibo has been producing so well so that, you know, fortunately that's just how it happens. 
Uh, Pozo, Yeti. Yeah, I'm, I might just keep struggling with the pace of the match. It's because he's uh, he's lacking fitness at the moment. Uh, I'm going to do a Pindul. I don't even think I need to make a, like, a change right now. I don't feel like I want to. Everyone's playing really well. Demand more. Let's just go flu count. I just want to... Let's just run out the clock. Yeah. There we go. 1-0. I don't care. Good. Done. At the start of this season, the media tipped Atletico Madrid B to win the league. And uh, they're now getting into full stride here. They're beating Villanovens on the road. Javi Cueto is in full form, running it up at the moment. And uh, they look dangerous. They're, they're on the wings. They're over the top. They got speed. They got power. Vinovens had no opportunity. This was a low shot. So, you know, six shots to two. And, um, yeah, they're putting away every chance that's given to them right now. They look, they're looking dangerous. Honestly, they're looking dangerous. And off the back of my game, Atletico Paso dropped huge points with a loss to Malia. Uh, they went up 1-0 from a penalty, and then Danny Garcia took him to town. 24 minutes in, just after that, was able to round the goalkeeper, but then at the 82nd, the dagger, the absolute dagger, Malia, went out to the Canary Islands and then dominated him. Danny Garcia didn't have to do that much to get the winner, honestly. The goalkeeper did it for him. Castellano continued the winning streak with Ivan Fernandez's penalty. 1-0. Sequeiros go to Alcorcón, who is uh, basically relegation fodder at this point, and smacks him around. Three easy points that just helps them uh, secure insurance for relegation safety, and uh, yeah, more misery for Alcorcón. And Korea still are unable to uh, get wins. Adarve are also unable to get any wins, so. Uh, they share the points here, and the playoff spots are just starting to slip away. Uh, but beautiful goal by Pineda. Johan Rodiega shows his absolute class by getting a brace in this game. Uh, even after the fact that uh, Valdetta was getting a red in the 73rd minute. But again, Espona are not a team to be uh, making fun of. They, they can do the business. Diacasano is a difficult team to break down and they were able to do it. Somebody needed to win this to have a chance at survival and Segoviana came out on top. Going 2-0 up before half and uh, yeah, you gotta say that this feels like a real missed opportunity for Serdinola and Segoviana absolutely was playing out of desperation. Acuna flicking a header over Zadiga to get that second goal. And uh, the wonderful uh, assist maker, Duran, scores a perfect free kick. This is an absolute classic. Three to four. Navo Carneto and Don Benito playing for, playing for keeps, really. Uh, Domingo opens the score in the 16th minute for the team that's pursuing playoffs and promotion. Uh, Tmanishkov converts a penalty with a nice low-driven ball uh, in the bottom right corner there. But Tmanishkov secures a brace 35 minutes in uh, with a nice flicked header up there and he was able to just caress it off or just kiss it off the inside of that post there. And then uh, Don Benito has stars of their own. Campare beats his man for the ball over the top and uh, just to level it. Oh, he just hit it into the roof of the net too. That's, a, that's an incredible. I mean... I'm just enjoying this gameplay right now. Mateo Santana, ball over the top. Compaude beats his man. Oh, he takes it right off Elo. Nice, yeah, nice little poked finish there. 75 minutes. He thinks that he's got the 3-2 victory here. Or, sorry, 2-2. He just leveled it up. Sorry, it is 3-2. This. And then Tmedishkov secures a hat trick here. It's just him. <laughs> he wins it. It's just him. And an easy finish. Now, however... And they think it's lined up, and then Hines Gonzalez. Not a chance, man. Are you kidding me? 
All right. And after 26 games, wow. Uh, a lot going on in this league right now. Uh, well, we're top of the table now, 46 points. Atletico Paso in second. Uh, after their loss to Malia, Atletico Madrid B, they beat Villanovan, so now they rise to third place, or maybe they maintain it. Uh, but anyways, Don Benito with a crazy, wild 4-3 finish with Guinness Gonzalez's goal in the 88th minute uh, brings them to fourth place. And Estepona as well, now they got a 2-0 victory over Diego Casano, so now they're in the last playoff spot. Cordia... Uh, yeah, I mean they got a draw. They're now in six. They raise up in the in the, the places, but they're now outside. They're two points from playoffs. And Vino Benz also in the same level of points. Adarve three points from playoffs. So they're now really kind of drift. Casadinho, uh now they're in the playoff conversation. They're ten points from safety, and uh, you know now they're four points from the playoffs. They're an absolute tear, and um, you know. How many how many games is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games unbeaten. Casadeño are you cannot you have to be scared of them. And I am in the way a few uh a few games away from now, so I'm hoping maybe the, uh they change by the time they, they play me, but Casadeño is now in the conversation and uh need I remind you too is that in the season preview, they're supposed to be fifth, so they're actually a decent side. Uh, that was underperforming for large parts of this year. Sequemos, uh have now, with their win, you know, they're at 34 points, six points from safety, so they feel very, very comfy with six points. That's a that's a really good cushion. Novel Carnero felt safe, and now they're getting sucked right back into that relegation. They're only four points up. Malia also with four points up with a big win at, over Paso. Um so they that was a huge three points for them uh, in the relegation battle. Guadalajara slide down in thirteenth in that last safety that last spot of safety, uh, thirty one points three from safety, and then finally Diego Casano in the first spot of the relegation twenty eight points. Segoviana twenty seven. Sardiniola and Leganes now really starting to get cut adrift here. If you think about it, they're seven points from safety. They only got eight games left. It's feeling real shaky now with 24 points each. And then Alcorcón, obviously, uh, yeah, they're they're at the foot of the table. They're probably the worst team in the league. Um, and I think I called that a long time ago. I don't remember what episode I did. I said this, pro- this team is probably the worst team in the league. But, uh, yeah, it's coming together. Now, let's look at the profile. Uh, Tomaneshkov got a hat trick, and so he's now got 17, so he's in third place. Uh, Ruben Katsala, uh, he's taking advantage of the fact that Victor's injured and uh, will remain to be injured for the next uh, two, three weeks or so. Um, so it's between nine, nine days to five weeks. So, you know, let's, let's look at that nine days to five weeks. So that's definitely Atletico Paso, um, you know. I mean, five weeks, dude. That's either entirely all of April or, like, maybe the these two games. You know, that's that's crazy. So, uh, they need... Vino Vens need their man back if they're going to start making that playoff push immediately. Um, Katsala always... You know, Katsala is just because of the fact that he scores the goals and he is overwhelmingly my goal scorer. And that's the reason why he's getting so many player, player of the match awards. Um... Also, let's look here. Do, do, do. Borjas, 16. Paso's on a tear right now, so that's why he's racking up those points since he's a uh, he's a striker. Campare, I, I tell you right now, this guy is so freaking good. He's scoring buckets right now. Also, Kylian Durant is still at 11. 11 assists is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He's a left back. He's crazy. He's absolutely crazy. Crazy. Uh, how much he's getting out of that, but man, we're really, uh, we're really, you know, coming down to the wire here. This is absolutely insane. Um, you know, we're coming into these playoffs, the automatic promotion spot for the, uh, for the win. Whew. Yeah, this is, uh, really exciting. Alcocone at home to Novel Carnero for the next week. Um, Again, Alcorcón really got nothing to play for. They're basically done. Nava Carnero do have something to play for. They are not. Uh, they're not quite safe that uh, as of yet. Guadalajara and Sequemos. 
I would say both teams, you know, just to to secure themselves. Uh, Guadalajara are definitely much more uh, relegation threatened than Sequamos are with that three point buffer. Leganes in in there, Dio Casano in there. That's a game that's like some teams got to pull a string to to win it. And Dio Casano are in a much better position. They literally need those three points uh, to be level with Guadalajara, assuming that they lose. Uh, Guadalajara, that is. I take on Malia at home. That's a difficult game because Malia has just pulls out these big victories. Uh, they've won two games on the on the road now. Everybody beats Alcorcon, but not everybody beats Atletico Paso on the road. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. That's that's a big game for uh, next week. Also, Atletico Madrid B Coria. That's another big game. You know, two playoff promotion teams. Atletico Madrid B is now on an absolute resurgence path that scares me. Look at this. Uh, basically, since January, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games unbeaten. So, um, or undefeated. So they're, uh, yeah, they're, tch, man, they're scary. Uh, Serdinola and Estepona. Estepona is, uh, even though they got, they got this this loss here. I mean, they just had a lot of draws. They they don't get beat. That's the thing. They don't get beat. Uh, this is the start of Casareño going on an absolute tear, and this is what in the peak of Atletico Paso's powers. You know, they had basically two flukes, Guadalajara and then Leganes, and they never had a fluke since. Uh, so they're definitely another one that to be a little worried about. Segoviana at home to Don Benito. Segoviana desperate desperate you you know you can smell the blood in the water these two teams feel like the only two teams that's possible to even get out of safety certainly all is like it feels like they've been drowned already but again you never know this league is a little weird um but don benito they need they need points they need points it's so close here right at this playoff spot adarve casadeno adarve another one casadeno is catching up i mean imagine if casadeno win you know, and you got a couple teams that lose here. Casadino could start catching up, and they could start get, entering themselves from basically what looked like relegation into the playoff spots because of how great their form is on the back half of the season. Um, Vino Vens and Atletico Paso, that's another one. Like seventh place, push it for promotion, and push it for the title in a title race, a genuine title race. Uh, I mean, again, it still it still looks like the top four. I would even include Estepona. Wait. I would include, no, I will include, it's a five-horse race now. Uh, you know, Espo is only four points off it. It doesn't take that much to really launch yourself into first. You need a couple wins back-to-back, -back and then all of a sudden you've done it. So, man, these t the top five sides always take each other on. We're all They're always winning and losing over each other, and nobody's hitting, nobody's getting that knockout blow right now. It's just not happening. And nobody's able to string wins back to back to back to back and then get on that, that uh, you know, everybody's just picking points off each other. So therefore, nobody's able to really just formulate a solid lead. The fact that I'm two points up right now is ridiculous. I don't even know if I've ever seen anybody be two points up before. So, uh, yeah, pretty wild. The past positions as well. I mean, I've now retained the crown for one week, uh, as you can see. And uh, <laughs> pretty crazy. I mean, yeah, pretty crazy. So I think that's it. Uh, oh, you know what? I also got a little bit of news for you. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Malia Coach. Uh, Malia Coach. I think his, uh, his job is a little, you know, a little under threat. It's not not looking good because he's getting in and out of relegation. Um, yeah, yeah. Please come back. Yeah, I mean, I would be too. But uh, I think it was the fact that they lost the last game, right? I don't know. Or maybe it was a draw assist. I don't remember. But they were talking about firing um, Manuel Mosqueda here. But uh, they clearly haven't yet. Um, but it seems like they've... He's gotten two wins now. So, I mean, I don't know why they would. But anyways... That's it. We're just going to go to round 27, which is crazy. This is, uh, we're really deep into this. We're in the back half of the season. Every game matters. We're really in this stretch. We're in March now, right? Last games happen when? 
Uh, let's go to schedule here. 32. This is, what is this? Uh, April, May. Yeah. I mean, we're midway through March right now. April is like really the back half, and then you get the last two games there. And then you got all of these uh, relegation playoffs uh, and promotion playoffs that are at the end of May. So we basically, I mean, what was that one, two? We had two months left of the season now, so we're we're well and truly in this, and um, it's 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 looking great. I mean, I'm thoroughly excited to hear. Thoroughly excited, man. We got so much, so much, so little between everyone, but uh, yeah, that's it. I'll uh, you know, this is Jack City, and we're going to Montijo Madness for. Game week 27, and I hope you're enjoying it. I am definitely enjoying it, and uh, thank you.